Hello there, welcome to another metal detecting hunt. Today I'm using the E track with the large coil. Very big coil, 18 by 15. And um, got Roman sight pattern on. Sensitivity set plus three. I want to really try and get deep today. Ordinarily I'd be out in the fields, but I decided to give this hill end a go within a wood. Got a decent signal here. Not reading the silver, but it's still a good signal nonetheless. And I have found hammered coins just out of the wood there in the fields. So here's hoping. bracelet of some sort. It looks like it's been gold plated. I don't think that's proper gold. There's a lot of green on it. I was excited there for a second. Nah, pretty sure it's not proper gold, but it could have been. A reasonable first find. This one's reading 12.43, but it's jumping back down into iron, which is the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It's a very old, corroded half penny by the looks of it. Well, actually, it's not too bad. It's a George the something. George the third, maybe. It's actually got quite a lot of detail on that, so I won't rub it anymore. I was kind of hoping this would be a hammered coin. It was reading 1216, which is kind of in hammered country. Uh, unfortunately, it's got a little fixing on the back there. It's just a button. I was excited there for a second. Well, I didn't find much more in those top fields. I found a little musket ball and what I think is a William or a William and Mary halfpenny from the late 1600s. I don't know. I've put it in a bag of water and it's in my pocket. Hopefully it'll be clean enough by the time I get home to have a look. I've dropped back down onto the field where I find all the modern coins. Well, modern as in pre-decimal. And I've got a signal here which is reading 1245. Now that's normally a good sign, so I'm going to give it a dig. That's actually right on the top. And it's a threepenny bit, not a silver one, unfortunately. This one's reading 1229. It's a fairly constant signal as well, so that's a good sign. Well, hey. First bit of silver. 1930 sixpence. That's George V. Okay, I've unplugged the headphones here, just to let you hear how loud some of these signals are. That's reading 11.38. Sixteen thirty-eight that way. It's a good enough signal to dig, though. George sixth half penny, and my phone's ringing. Right, I've just lifted this sod back. Um, I can see the coin, that's it there, it looks like a sixpence on its end at about oh, four or five inches under the ground, 
It wasn't a very good signal, but it was kind of hovering at times around where I would expect to find silver. Yep, that's the fella. It's another George V. That one's a couple of years earlier, 1928. It's in reasonable condition, but that was a very iffy signal. This one's reading 1238. I've got a coin ball here by the looks of it. Yep. George the 5th, 1921 penny. Ah, another 1921 penny. In reasonable condition again. Just dug a half penny out here and it has hell stamped on it. Not quite sure why it's got that on it, but it's a nice touch. It's certainly the first coin I've got with hell stamped in it. Very nice. Got another coin ball here. And it's a George the Sixth half penny. I've been joined by Jimmy now. Desperately trying to pull up some decent stuff. <laughs> um, we've come to another farm, which we've just got permission of uh, from. And um, we've tried this hill end here, nothing. Either side of the little bridge. Nothing really. Um, I found a George II half penny, which is pretty poor. And Jimmy's found a big old button. It's big, isn't it? It is big. It's very heavy. And I think I've got a shilling here. I don't know whose it is though. It's George V. 1925. I wasn't far off, I said, I guess 27. <laughs> That's a decent find. Jimmy's got a decent signal here. Oh, it is a coin. There's a little bit of detail left on it. What sort of age is it? Nothing exciting, I'm afraid. Knackered. <laughs> <laughs> this is another cracking signal. It's reading exactly the same place as the um, shilling. So I'm kind of hoping it's another shilling. It's certainly a strong signal there as well, it's silver. Get here in. It's only the second half crown I found, believe it or not. George the sixth one. Portrait side's pretty good. Back side's not the best, it's 1940. Whilst I was digging here for that half crown, Jimmy got a good signal as well. And he's pulled up a George the third half penny. Well, there wasn't much at that side, um, although I did find a Chilling and a half crown. So we're gonna have a very quick look to one of Jimmy's sites now where recently he found a really nice hammered coin of Robert the First. It was a Scottish coin, beautiful condition as well. So I'm hoping that between us we're gonna find something decent on this site. We've only got maybe an hour and a half to go at it, but um, it might produce something, you never know. On Jimmy's site here, I've just found a Georgian penny. And we've got what looks like a silver coin here. So Jimmy's going to extract it very carefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, he <drops> it. It. <laughs> and he drops it straight away. Oh, that's a George III. Bat and bad nick, isn't it? It is. It's a hard life. <laughs> These farmers, man, they brutalise their coins. <laughs> so, there's a little bit, I'll just give it a rub my sleeve there, butcher it a bit more. <laughs> it's a Georgia third sixpence. Just about make out the portrait on him. 
That's not bad. It took some finding as well, didn't it? It did, no. Well, Jimmy found a few coins. Nothing really of any note. Um, this is what I found. Obviously, Jimmy was only there for a couple hours or so. I had an extra two or three hours at it, but I seemed to find silver, which was pretty good. There's the gold-plated chain. Modern half penny, penny, two pence, threepenny bits, half pennies, mostly George V, one with hell stamped in, which is nice. There's a William and Mary half penny, George the second half penny, George the third half penny, George the third penny, two George the fifth pennies, and silver as follows so George the third sixpence two George the fifth sixpences one George the fifth shilling and a George the sixth half crown this little thing here looks like some sort of clothes fastener and there's a manky old musket ball so no real artefacts of any worth there, but a reasonable hunt nonetheless. Thanks for watching.